Welcome, my dear Leo singles. We're going to take a look at the tarot to see the possibilities of the energies coming in this month when it comes to love. And then we're going to pull further oracle cards to see the energy of the oracle cards for further insights and messages. Right, Leo, this is looking incredibly interesting. Wow. Okay. Leo, so this, this month is going to be quite an epic month for you. Quite an epic month. First of all, we've got three very big major arcana, the Magician, the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. So I'm going to tell you that something is going to happen very suddenly for you. Now, when everybody gets the tower, there's like, oh, it's a bad card. And, a, you know, there's going to be like a shock and things are going to fall down. But because it's next to the magician and because we've got the eight of ones right next to it, I think something is going to happen so suddenly for you this month, Leo, in terms of love. But so suddenly, it's so unexpected that everything changes, but it's like from day to night. Everything changes, okay? I think up until this point, you're really feeling like, well, you know, really? Another date? Another guy? It's like, really? I mean, what? But something brand new and spectacular is happening this month, my dear Leos. So it comes from nowhere, but it's not really nowhere because the magic is telling me that this is something that you have been hoping, dreaming and praying for. It's not from no. It might feel like it, the actual manifestation of it come, is very sudden and very shocking, but a good shock. It's a good shock, but it's something that you have been really holding deep in your heart for a very long period and you haven't given up. Your perseverance to keep going, keep going, keep going and not giving up has manifested this unexpected, quick manifestation that is coming in. Okay, I'm going to try and get some more information by pulling the oracle cards. The first oracle cards I'm going to pull are the Romance Angel cards to see what information we can get, further information to help us this month. The first one is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so it's kind of telling you that, yes, okay, there is going to be the suddenness of amazing thing that's going to happen. But until it happens, you can't give up. You're right at the end of a cycle of your life. The wheel is turning for you. The wheel is turning for you. Don't throw down the ones, the ten of wands, this heavy burden you're carrying. Don't throw it down before you get to your destination. Keep going. Keep going. And before you know it, suddenly something else is going to take place. Right. Then we've got healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So with this card, I'm going to just uh, I'm going to take it one step further. I'm not quite sure it's just about your parents, but if there's anything within your family that you need to forgive or let go, now's the time. Now's the time you don't want to be carrying anything as you go into this new chapter of your life. You know, our families, you know, us, oh, we are, you know, or come, come, or a package deal, you know, we don't get to choose our family members. And there are families, members that, you know, we'll have quarrels with and we'll make up with. There are family members that are wonderful and always there for us. And there are family members that sometimes we just have to love and let go. Okay, for a certain, doesn't mean forever, just for a certain period. But this is the time now to be, make sure that with in your family that there is only positive strong energy as you go into this new wonderful chapter of love in your life 
and then we get the message, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So because this happens so suddenly and so quickly, it might, it might feel you, you might have a little wobble. I'm not going to lie, there might be a little wobble, but that's okay because it's a good wobble. Okay, you're going to get shaken up a bit because it's going to come out of nowhere and it's something you've been hoping for and dreaming for and then all of a sudden it's there. And This card is telling us this beautiful message that it's safe. It doesn't mean you have to rush in and do all those things that you don't feel. Take your time. It's It happens quickly, but it doesn't mean you have to rush into anything quickly. And you go at the pace you feel comfortable with and let it evolve naturally. That is a super, super, super message. Okay, now I'm going to pull another oracle card to see what other energies or insights we can have. Oh, here we go. Doesn't this make sense? Courage. Okay, so it might take a bit of courage this month because you know you've been working and dreaming and manifesting for so long. So when it happens so suddenly, like I said, there will be a little wobble. It's okay. Be strong. Be courageous. Go at your own pace. You don't have to be pressurized into anything. Remember, you are in control of everything. And this person, this person that's coming in, I promise you, if the, it, from what I can see, this, the feelings are met and they will go. If you tell them, I want to go slow, I want to only just, you know, like just do dinners, go for walks, just take it slow at your pace, they will match it. You just have the courage to stand up and do what's comfortable for you because it's about you. It's about you. So I just want to see what, what area of your life we're going to work in terms of activating okay let's see what popped out here the root chakra okay so the root chakra is found at the base of the spine okay so this is like a beautiful red light that you can find at the base of your spine and what the root chakra does it basically it's like it's ma making the the your the physical of 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 the world you kind of kind of making it flow within your your being you know everything about the physical it's like your security your stability your home your family anything on that level that gives you your foundation this is what the root chakra works with so they're saying that this month just work on activating and balancing this one this this chakra so if you can just take a close look at that image and perhaps during the month you can either take a screenshot or come back to it and have a look at it because this is the sh the chakra that you just got to make sure that you are grounded in the physical so if you can just imagine a beautiful red light shining at that point at the base of your spine and just say i'm safe i'm secure and all is well and that's all you need to do in terms of that activation. So I'm going to take one, get one more message for you for this month in terms of the little tarot. The first card we pull is the fool. The fool is somebody who takes a risk, a calculated risk, because there is an element of risk here because it happened so suddenly and so new. But just remember one thing, you go, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, which tells us you carve it out and work it, that you go at your pace. You do not have to go at anybody else's pace, but your own and do what makes you feel comfortable. Let's pull one more card. Oh, lovely. We get the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is the card of building a legacy, of building a family, of building something that is lost and something that is stable. So if you go at your own pace, slowly but surely, because it does feel a little bit risky, you will be fine and there is great potential of building something solid. So there you have it, my dearest Leos. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it the thumbs up. And um, I hope to see you soon. Please take care of yourselves.